everyone so I uploaded the video with Mr. Minimalist Cali. So far I'm getting really good feedback. How do you feel about that? This is awkward. <laughs> Hi! This is awkward. So far people have commented that they want me to do a husband guesses the prices of my plans and how we met or you can tell them. You wanna... No you can tell them. No you can tell them. No, you can tell them. <laughs> we can definitely do that. We are gonna go to Ikea and just look at some outdoor furniture stuff. For our first home, I want to buy more quality stuff, but then I don't want to spend too much on outdoor stuff, so we're going to look at some outdoor stuff at Ikea. We're really early because our house isn't closed until January, but this is what I like to do for fun, besides going to nurseries and stuff. So, just... so on the way to Ikea, he uh, spotted a nursery, so we are stopping by to check it out. I didn't know this one existed. I guess we'll see. I think it's a lot of outdoor plants, but we're not too sure. So, look, they have string of bananas, and this is $14. That's a really cute way to put it. Look how cute this one is. It's so plump. So plump. Oh, they're so priced. There's a bunch here. These are so adorable, these donkey wheels. I don't know how much it is, though. We can buy one for our future place. This is an olive tree, right? Yeah. Olive tree. $79.99. It's so pretty. We could put it, like, front patio yeah i think we should put one in the patio when it gets big enough i can hang other plants from it just like they do here hello hey oh my goodness luna she's obsessed with frenchies yeah she's a kisser <laughs> It's <laughs> a cacti pot. It's kind of cool. It's like a Bowser. We just made it to Ikea the other day. We actually tried to go to Ikea and we ended up leaving because we couldn't find any parking. And hopefully it's not going to be too crowded when we go in there because we found parking this time. This is the look I want to go for. This kind of uh, tile backsplash. I like the contrast with the gray grout. This is really cute for yeah, extra it's seating. It's like 30 dollars each. It's really cute. It'll go with the look. I want the floors like this. These click together for the outside on our balcony. What are you doing? This is your idea. Get out of here. Okay. It's a chocolate overload cake. Oh. Okay. Can't come back here without eating. I'm getting the vegetable balls. What'd you get? I got a vegetable balls and I don't know what's on top. And it has veggie balls and greens. And this is only like $3.99. Wow. I got the salmon balls. I don't know what that mashed is. mashed potatoes. And that was your idea. I killed it. Now it's time for cake. Let's see how this is. Have you ever had cake from Ikea? Nope. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, my turn. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Those shots. <laughs> That intro. We are now in my favorite section. Funny looking plant. It's this a donkey tail. No, it's not, bro. Knew it. Ponytail palm? See? I think the only plant I've gotten from here is the parlor palm. But I always have to come here to look. And I do get a lot of planters here. And this is where I get my look at, too. Let's see what they have. So they got some peas here. Peace. A bunch of cats. Money, please. Got the one like this, like much larger one, but it's from Home Goods or something like that. This one's cute. I get a lot of planters from here because it's cheap. And this is adorable. I just wish it was bigger because I would have to refill this like 800 times if I actually use it. This is new. This is new. I haven't seen that one. This one I think is really adorable because I have the white one and this was this one is smaller. But I don't know. I don't want too much pink. This matches our place for sure with these two colors. But I don't actually need any pots right now. But I'll keep it in mind for the next time I need some pots. Oh, this is a pretty cool pot. <laughs> no. I have been looking at this rattan outdoor table and look, it's 
usually $59 and it's on sale for $36. So I'm gonna get it and it'll probably stick it in the garage for now. As is. Hopefully there's no damages. I can't tell. I think it's good though. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm excited. There she goes. <laughs> We are leaving Ikea now and that was such a successful trip. I have been looking for that table because I wanted it for our upstairs future balcony. I just have to get some chairs for it now. <laughs> Is that how you feel about my explanation? This <laughs> a giant monstera. Oh my goodness. It's, the fenestrations are insane and then if you look in here, you can see the fruit. I kind of want to pluck one out to try it. <laughs> Just kidding. You can eat it? Yeah. I Well, I've never had it, but some people ate it and say it's like a cross between pineapple and something else. I want to try it. Hey, 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 hey. He's dancing. <laughs> oh. Wow. If you look in the back, this is like the largest ruffles I've ever seen but that's how you can tell it's a true Monstera Deliciosa. So it has these ruffles. This is so awesome. We have been struggling trying to find the right couch. We went to West Elm several times, Crate and Barrel, but that's when we signed for the original house we were gonna get. And now that the living space is larger, we need a bigger couch than that. So we can't get the couches we originally wanted. We're really picky about the couch we want because we spend a lot of time on the couch when we're at home. It needs to be a deep couch and it needs to be at least 140 inches wide. It's wide, right? Tall. <laughs> so annoying. It needs to be at least 140 inches wide. The max we can go is 150. Of course, it looked a lot online and we think we found the one that we want. First, we went to Mathis Brothers. The couches there, I mean, they were nice in person, but I don't think they would hold up, and I can include that footage right here. This one is like the cloud couch from Restoration Hardware, which I love, but I don't want to spend like $8 million on a couch. So I have been looking at this one online. This is my first time seeing it in person, and it's so comfortable. This thing, like, okay, if I sit all the way back. <laughs> oh, little <laughs> and I'm very, I'm very, very short, but I think all this couch could fit like 10 people and you could just like lay out comfortably. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna get this. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Yeah, the not even a little bit. is not quite yeah. bit right. <laughs> this is not this is big, big. Guess how much it is. Guess. It's $632.92. Holy crap. This is the most expensive one I've seen. So we we're looking for the boys and <laughs> we just finished up at the first furniture store and we didn't get anything. That couch is very comfortable. It's extremely deep and it's huge. I don't think it'll hold up so we are moving on to the next furniture store. Then we went to our house and we fell in love with the perfect couch. If anyone has the Kipton couch from our house, can you tell me what you think of it and if it holds up? I haven't been able to find as many reviews on the our house Kipton couch even though that's their most popular couch. Yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you either know somebody or you have the Kipton couch yourself and if it holds up. I would greatly appreciate that before we spend any money on a couch because we definitely still have time to be looking so I'm going to include the footage from our house here we are in our house right now and this is so cute they have a bunch of plants in here and these are real they even have propagations here we found our couch we are in love with it this is from our house this is the kitchen it's so nice so, the back part is memory. The width is perfect because the one that we want is 139 inches and then the chaise would be 70. So it's perfect. It's perfect match. But uh, we don't move until January. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. I don't remember what I was going to say. Uh, da, da, da. Whoa. Then turn left on South.
Take six.